Hey everybody, Doug here. Today I'm going to try to see the big boy. Well, that sounds kind of funny. The big boy is a large train. I believe it was the largest train engine ever built that was at least steam powered. Built, I believe, around World War II, maybe slightly after. There's a whole bunch of people trying to get in to see it here in Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, everybody's coming in on the state fairground side, which is the north side of the rail depot here on the east side of Des Moines. There's a few of us, maybe a hundred or so, being sneaky and coming in on the south side off of 34th Street. So that's going to be my, my strategy here, where we'll see how it works. This is the line of people to take the tour inside the train. <laughs> Again, this is just the line to go inside. I would estimate there are three or four hundred people waiting in line here to get inside the train cars. And they only let you go in some of the train cars. They don't even let you go in all of them. Uh, 300 is probably a low estimate now that I'm getting down here. I'm guessing it's more like 400 to 500 people waiting in line. Just an estimate. Children, adults, teenagers, the elderly, everyone has come out to see Big Boy's Train. There is a regular diesel engine and two, I guess you call them hopper cars, behind the big boy for whatever reason. Getting close. I don't think a video or a picture is going to do justice of just how massive big boy is here. He is large. And this is a sea of humanity here too. Oh, the huge manatee. There he is. There's a whole bunch of people waiting in line to get their picture taken at the front. I'm not going to do that. Probably 50 to 60 people waiting in line. But it is cool. Let's see how many paces I need to walk it here. So I'll get lined up right at the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 36, 37, 38, 39, I don't know if this counts or not, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So either 39 or 56, depending on whether we count this thing that looks kind of like a coal car. Line for porta potties. <laughs> Riding on the city of New Orleans, Illinois Central, Monday morning rail. Sixteen cars and sixteen restless riders. Three conductors, twenty-five sacks of mail. Can you think of how cool it would have been to travel on train back in the day? Oh, maybe my perspective is a little biased because, of course, if we were to travel by rail, it would be because we wanted to, not because we had no other choice. But, uh, whew, that would have been awesome. So yeah, I would have liked to have gone inside, but I wasn't going to wait in the line of four or five hundred people to get inside. Just a quick, brief excursion here. Walking down the middle of the track, so I got to be careful. But yeah, that was, uh, that was worth a 45-minute detour out of my life. 
9 out of 10. Would recommend. Well, there's a mini adventure for you. You could even call it a micro adventure. Wasn't even planning on it. Driving home from work. Heard there was this great big train on the radio and thought, hmm, not too far out of my way. I'll stop and see it. Make a suggestion what I should do next. Central Iowa or surrounding areas. Can't be too expensive. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. Check out my other videos. See ya. Ugh, I stepped in dog poop on the way back. Please, people, if you're going to bring your dog to this sort of event, please pick up after them. All along the southbound Odyssey, the train pulls out a Kankakee. Rolling on past houses, farms, and fields.